Of all that is holy, would you look at Karen Smith's cheer uniform? Ugh. Ugh, of course the plastics are in the same AV class. Who are the plastics? They're teen royalty. If our school was Vogue, they'd always be on the cover. That one there, that's Karen Smith. She's the dumbest girl you will ever meet. Caroline sat next to her in English last year. She asked me how to spell orange. That little one, that's Gretchen Wieners. She's totally rich because her dad created the loft. No wonder she's the host. Gretchen Wieners knows everybody's business. She knows everything about everyone. That's why her hair's so big. It's full of secrets. And evil takes human form in Regina George. Don't be fooled because she may seem like a typical selfish backstabbing gossip, but in reality, she's so much more than that. She's the queen bee. She's the star. Those other two are just her little minions. Regina George. How do I even begin to explain Regina George? Regina George is flawless. Oh my god, so one time she actually met Harry Styles on a plane and he called her pretty. I hear Principal Campbell is her great, 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 great grand uncle. Aisha's car commercials in Japan. I hear her hair is insured for $10,000. I heard she was the quarterback when we actually won the games. One time she punched me in the face. It was awesome. Happy Friday, Centennial. We're back with another Loft episode. It's your favorite host, Jaden Zayas. And Cooper DeLeon. I hope you enjoy this episode. For as long as it's been played, football has been a male-dominated sport. Centennial's girls' flag football team aims to change that. Um, I'm Skyla, and I'm a senior captain. I'm Zania Green. I'm a sophomore. Um, I wanted to start a flag football team because um, I wanted to make it more accessible to younger girls, and I've always grown up around football. So I've, I'm always the girl who wanted to play when I was younger, and I think it's really important that girls can play, and it's actually like a sport at our school. I worked closely with Coach Birch my sophomore year to do a powder puff team, and I think it's really cool that it's a varsity sport now. Flat football has given me a chance that I never had before because, like, it's fun. I never played. It's my first year playing. You know, it was something different for me because, for me because I tried, like, other sports, but I actually like this. Being captain and being in a position of leadership is really important to me because I think for these younger girls, I think it's important that they have really good seasons ahead, like that it's not just a good senior season. I mean, obviously I want that. I want us to go far, but I think we really just want to set the precedent for a really good program in the future. Um, the physicality and fitness aspect has surprised me because I play lacrosse, so that's mostly a field sport and it's really ongoing. With football, it's like stopping and starting. so. It's a lot of bursts of energy and like you have to go hard for every single play. It's good exercise as far as the running and stuff like that. It helps your body, you know. Um, some mental benefits of playing is definitely being around the girls because it's a really good group of girls. These are some of the girls I've, I've never even met before. I wouldn't know them if I didn't play flag football. And it's really good to just meet new friends and be in a positive environment every day. And it's really good. It gets your mind off of school and everything because you're out here on the field with teammates having fun and stuff like that. It's good because you get the team bunny and stuff like that. I'm uh, Coach Jeff Birch. I am the athletic director here at Centennial and I'm the head coach of girls varsity flag football. So I've coached football for several years. As soon as I started teaching in high schools, uh, I was put on a football staff. Um, and I coached football for about 10 years uh, before going full-time coaching club soccer and uh, the varsity girls soccer. So I have coached uh, both football as well as girls teams before, but this is my first time coaching girls flag football. Most of my girls have played other sports before, but uh, the way their athleticism has transferred and shown um, I think an ability to learn and adapt really quickly. Um, going into the game, being brand new, uh, some players really stood out in their defensive positions and offensive positions in that I knew they were athletic enough to make some plays, but they really showed uh, that they had the right mindset to use their athletic ability for a, a really big advantage. With a great start to the season and a winning mentality, these Knights are showing what it means to be united. With C100, I'm Daniel Carlino.
Red Ribbon Week is next week, which is the largest and oldest drug prevention campaign in the nation. This year, the theme is Drug Free Looks Like Me. Here's the website to learn more. Man, I really hope I have a good day today. I already took like three tests yesterday. Man, I'm not looking forward to today. Every time when I walk through the hallways, those teachers always look at me kind of weird. It's actually kind of freaky. Is there anybody in the learning comments? I never see anybody in there. I swear, my forehead always gets so itchy. I think I got like some type of disease or something. I don't know, I think I might die. I gotta get that checked out. This is not Corona. Am I wearing the same socks? Uh, I sure hope so. I mean, it's in the morning, so you never know. <sighs> Ooh, whoa, look at those ceiling tiles. Man, 2002. Man, that was a long time ago. That was before I was born. Also, I never thought when you say the word crisp, it goes from the back of your throat to the front of your mouth. Crisp. 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 Yeah, man, that's crazy to think about. Are you ready for this? Hey Centennial, it's been wet and rainy all week, so today we're here at Sky Zone. So we're about to hit the free jump zone. Uh, Jake's warming up. What is that? Behind me, we have a Ninja Warrior course that Callan's about to take on. Callan, yeah, well, you ready? I'm ready for this. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Callan, what's next? Um, the swing. Ready, go. Yeah. Thanks, kid. Go, thank you. I'm sweating. I'm hot. Jake, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna do a backflip. All right, let's see it. <laughs> I may be short, but I can still ball on some basketball, okay? Count, count, put the sticker on the ball. All right, that's a wrap. <laughs> Everyone come out and support your nights at Johns Creek, 7.30 on Friday. It'll be a great game. My name is Miss Lee. I teach geometry and algebra too at Centennial High School. What inspiration do I get from my style? I like dressing up and I look at a lot of fashion magazine and stuff, so I guess magazine will be, or Instagram, will be my inspiration. My big role model for my life is actually my dad. I look up to my dad a lot. He brought me to the United States when I was 16 years old with no English. Just after that, my dad has been always my big role model. Ah, that's so hard. Okay, how would I describe my music taste in three words? Instrumental, beat, lyrics. I like to listen to music where it has a good lyrics and good beats and like has a lot of details to the music. What sparks my interest to teach math is my lovely students, that's all I care about. I want my students to, you know, like math and I wanna make this like, you know, a little bit better. So my, I wanna say my students. What do I do in my free time? I love traveling, so I try to go see different, you know, cities and countries whenever I have free time. So like doing Pilates. Yeah. Good job, you did great. Yeah. Hi, I'm Cody Gage Cole. And I'm Aiden Owens. And this is your weekly update. Your first news on the ticket is the Netherlands finally crowned their tallest and strongest female bodybuilder, narrowly beating out the average Scottish male 
at 5'2 and 120 pounds, and balding at the age of 16. Guys, we have a very, very stressful and deep political issue going on right now that I really wanted to address here on the show. Um, New Zealand had a wizard, and they got rid of him? What are you doing? They say magic is dead. We don't need a wizard in parliament anymore. Shut up! Let me talk directly to the head of New Zealand, be it a king, a president, or a principal. I don't care. We're getting freaking Merlin back in office, okay? It's happening. In other news, I found a crab in a piece of 100 million year old amber. Now don't look it up. It was all me. No one else helped me. It, it was really small. It reminded me a lot of this one movie. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. It's pretty underground. It's called Jurassic Park. And I was, I was struck a chord because it was so small. It was like Ben Shapiro height. Very tiny. I was so inspired by this. I lend my hand out to all of Centennial to come into my basement and take a look at it. I guess we have a new segment on Weekly Update that, by the way, is taking up one of my new spots. It's weather, weather announcements with Kai Ventura or whatever. Stupid name. Um, so over to Kai with the weather. Hey guys, I'm Kai, your weather guy, and uh, today it's pretty rainy. Uh, no one cares, Kai. We've already seen the rain. Oh, okay then. Uh, well, tomorrow it'll be- No, 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 you know what? Shut up! Shut up, Kai! No one cares about your opinions! Okay? Okay, well, thank you for having me. Uh, I I guess I'll see you guys next week. Um, wait, Aiden, you look a little different. This has been your weekly update. I'm Aiden Owens. I'm Cody Gage Cole. Have a good one, Centennial. <laughs> ah, all right. Man, my arm is kind of sore today. Should I throw pitches today? I don't know. I wonder what we got for lunch today. I really hope it's nachos. I mean, it's a Thursday. It's, it's Thursday nacho day, baby. Let's go. Yeah, I really hope I have practice today because I literally got nothing after school. Like, absolutely nothing. Yeah, my back has been feeling kind of twingy too. Yep. Uh, stretch that, stretch that. There we go. You're looking good. Looking good today. For the most part. Oh, hey, look. I think that's my class. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, those teachers are always really nice. They always give me compliments. All right. I gotta touch it. I gotta be a cool kid, cause you're tall. Yes! Oh man, I'm so cool. A big congrats to Sean Essery, Jack Jordan, and Daniel Cardellino, who plays top 10 in the All-American High School Film Festival. Just say like, you look different today. You look different today, is that good or bad? I don't know, respond. What kind of different? Dude, this is perfect, say. I don't know the surprising kind. What does that even mean? What's his problem? Ask him. Do you even like me? Say maybe. No, I'm just gonna be myself. Yes, I think you're beautiful. I think you're really pitiful? Oh no. Who does he think he is? Fix this. What do you want me to do? I can't fix autocorrect. Call him. She's calling. Don't answer. Hello? I'm the admissions counselor at Mercer University. I did not go to Mercer. I actually just started as an admissions counselor about a month or two ago. So I'm still pretty new, but I have really loved Mercer, really loved Macon. It's been really great, everyone there super friendly. So we are a smaller university. We have about 3,500 undergraduate students. We also have, um, our, most of our grad programs are on our Atlanta campus. Um, and if you count all of our grad programs, we have about 9,000 students. So seniors need to apply um, best case by November 1st. November 1st is our early action deadline. 
Um, our regular decision deadline is in February, but if you apply by November 1st, you will be considered for all of our scholarships. So I highly recommend it to all students, um, as well as you'll be, you will hear back from us on November 18th if you apply by November 1st. Go Bears! <laughs>
today we're taking a look at a plant known as common lantana. It's a small broadleaf evergreen shrub known botanically by the name lantana camara. This plant is popular as an ornamental plant due to the wide range of colors found in its flowers. Despite its use as an ornamental plant, it's also notorious as a weed. It releases a chemical into the soil around it that only it can grow in. On the bright side, it has an odor from its leaves and flowers that repels mosquitoes. This plant is mostly just in the south of the USA. With that, I'll see you on the next episode of Plant Identification. It goes around the world just na 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 na. And that song has been stuck in my head all day. And I'm going into my class. I just gotta shut this door. And I'm here pretty early. Well, I think this is the first time I've been in the first one in my class. All right, well, let's just sit down, get ready for the day, and hopefully we don't have a test. Well, good morning, Oklahoma, and welcome to the Eugene Fitzwater Show. It is such a pleasure to have you all today in my audience, and a very special thank you to everyone watching at home. Today we have someone very special joining us, folks. Now let me tell you, this is such an inspiring story, I was almost brought to tears. Thelma Mason was a very dear friend of the famous writer Ethel Thomas. Now, as many of you know, Ethel Thomas tragically passed away last spring. It had been news to the world that Miss Thomas had been working on her last book. And for those of you who do not know, Ethel Thomas wrote the New York Times best-selling book, Super Disco Journey, in 2008. Now, in honor of the tragic passing of Miss Thomas, please welcome her dear friend, Thelma Mason. Oh, thank you so much thank for coming on. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Oh, of course. So, Miss Mason. If you could, could you please tell us why you're deciding to read this book for the first time on live national television? The only way that I knew how to carry out Ethel's legacy was to publish her book, Cold and Broken. I know that Ethel wasn't done with the whole editing process of it yet. I just wanted everyone to really see the way that I see Ethel, you know, how intelligent and beautiful and just strong and courageous that she is. She's just one of the most incredible people. In yeah, I think I'm about to head out. Incredible this could not, not get any worse. Me. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you have all been waiting for, please welcome Thelma Mason! The snow is really beautiful today. Sometimes the snow is cold, but snow is cold. I am the snow, I am the cold. Is my heater broken? No, my soul is broken. What is a soul? Is it real? Does it fall from the sky like beautiful snowflakes? Beauty is a social construct. Well. But I think Harry Styles is beautiful, and so does everyone else, so maybe not. Beauty is nothing but a mirror, because everyone is beautiful on the inside. So maybe no one is beautiful? Beauty? Well, that looks like... I think that's it. All right, everyone, that's all we have time for today. Uh, I'm sorry, I thought that there would be more. But thank you for having me. Make sure you come back next week where we have Cynthia Opus, famous opera singer who just got released from prison. So, um, listen, that was, um, honestly, one of the worst things I've ever, um, experienced. Um, so, just please leave. Never come back. Um, and just continue being, you know, mediocre. So, you mean to tell me that Ethel Thomas is dead? I don't even know who that is. 